We live in a world where any autistic retard can pick up a pen and make a webcomic. Due to this inescapable fact, most webcomics on the internet are extremely shitty, with only a few good ones interspersed here and there. So, with the bar set so phenomenally low, what is the worst? Could there even be a worst? Is it possible to find the worst if there is one? And what would it be? Would it be something cringy, like girls in games? Would it be preachy, like assigned male? Would the plot revolve around necrophilia, like Blue Angel Corps? Which I'm not going to show because I don't think I can show it. These are all valid guesses, but the truth of the matter is none of them are correct. The worst webcomic ever is made by a humble social justice warrior from Canada, and its name is Robot Hugs. This should come as a surprise to absolutely no one. If there's going to be a worst anything, it's going to be made by a social justice warrior. That should be obvious. But we're not going to take a look at the comic right away. No, like a frog in a pot of boiling water, I'm going to slowly immerse you in this comic, and before you even realize it, you'll be fully engulfed in pure Tumblr cringe. Let's start off by learning a bit about our author here. Robot Hugs lives in Toronto and works in UX slash IA. And that's basically like web design. And I don't know if I'd uh, want to be your client because this website looks like dog shit. But whatever, it seems to be working out for you pretty well. They have a degree in linguistic. Are we dealing with two people? Like more than one person? Okay, so this is a collaboration, I guess. They have a degree in linguistics and a graduate degree in information studies. What the fuck is information studies? That's like the re Department of Redundancy Department? F fucking information studies. What else are you going to study? Okay, but for real though, like I did some research. Information studies is basically interpreting data and statistics and shit, I guess. That's a simple answer. And linguistics, okay, I, I, guess, I guess they know how to speak. That's good. They identify as gender, queer, non-binary, and use gender-neutral pronouns such as they or z slash zeer? Good lord. Okay, that's not even the start of it. Listen to this shit. Specifically, they identify as a non-binary, gender, queer, people, queer, what the fuck? Mentally ill, non-monogamous, non kinky, critical, feminist robot. Okay, so I've read that before, and saying it back, like, out loud is a whole fucking different animal. That is just, like, that's a lot of different ways to say retarded. Like, non-binary, gender queer, people queer. What the, what the fuck is people queer? I've never heard that one. What the fuck is people queer? I know non-binary, and I kind of know gender queer. I know non-binary is just, like, for retards who want to feel special, but... But what, what the fuck is people queer? People queer is a term used by one who identifies as every gender possible. All 76 genders inside of one person. Also a term used by K, the mentally ill critical robot. So I found one definition and that definition mentions robot hugs. So I'm to assume that she just fucking made this up. That's not even halfway into her identity. Let's see, we got... Mentally ill, that's pretty obvious, didn't need to really list that. Non-monogamous. What, what are you, in a fucking cult? Kinky critical feminist robot. Well, those are the four most sensible words I've heard in this entire paragraph. Their hobbies include worrying, being concerned about things they can't change, being angry, being uselessly angry, hiding from the world, and knitting. Sounds like a fucking Romanian grandmother. You know, I went into this thinking like, yeah, I'm going to read this. I'm going to make fun of it. Like, <laughs> non-binary. That's fucking stupid. But uh, I think we can save that until we actually read the comic. Because trust me, there's going to be a ton of material. But while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and say like, why the fuck do social justice warriors feel the need to list all this shit as their identity? Like, who are you as a person? And they list their sexuality, their gender, their, like, fucking relationship preferences, and their mental status, and their pronouns. You ask a normal human being, like, what, what is your identity? Who are you? And, you know, in my case, I would say, well, I'm an animator, I'm a YouTuber, I make 
videos. I'm kind of an asshole. Uh, that's what that's what you get with me. But wh wh I don't I don't say well I'm a white guy with autism and my dick is four inches long. But that's what a social justice warrior does. They put all their their little oppression tokens out in the out in front of them like a beggar in the street trying to make you feel bad for him, trying to make you feel more bad for him than you would the other beggar who's farther down the street. Because it's a competition at the end of the day. Who's the most oppressed? But fuck it. Let's take a look at the comic now. It's hard to actually find juicy shit in this comic because it's interspersed with all this hashtag relatable garbage. Shit like, cats are cute and it's fun to cuddle in bed. Go fuck yourself, Robot Hugs. I'm here to laugh at how stupid you are. I don't care about your cats or your bed. We're gonna start off innocently enough with a nice little joke comic, but it's got some little SJW notions sprinkled onto it. So one thing you might immediately notice is that this is the worst artwork you've ever seen in anything ever. I mean, for fuck's sake, there you can make stick figures look f professional. Cyanide and Happiness does it. All four of the artists on Cyanide and Happiness can do that. So, go fuck yourself. What is your gender anyways? My gender is nachos. Nachos? Yep. I... I don't... You know how awesome nachos are, right? Yeah. Well, that's my gender. But... Shh. Nachos. Can I have some? Get your own gender. So as you can see, this this author is just all kinds of random and wacky and and just like like nachos epic. <laughs> but one theme I, I seem I seem to see in a lot of these social justice warrior comics is this weird fantasy that people somehow can't uh, figure out the person's gender is like, that doesn't happen. I'm, I'm 100% certain if I saw you in real life, I'd immediately know you're a girl. And so would anyone else. Let go of this bullshit fantasy. And we'll use that as a segue into this next, uh, comic called Pronoun Etiquette. I'm not gonna read the whole thing and respond to it. I'm gonna respond to each one on a case-by-case -case basis since it's really long. Pronoun do's and don'ts when someone asks you to use a different pronoun. What? Z isn't a real pronoun. Don't you have something more normal that you use? I mean, that seems pretty reasonable to me. Like, yeah, I'm gonna have to use this pronoun in the presence of other people, and chances are they're not gonna know what the fuck Z means when I use it as a pronoun. And I just want something more normal to use so I don't look like a, a f fucking asshole. But it's not grammatically correct to use they as a singular pronoun. The Joker said that one. Now the author is going to explain why you shouldn't do this. You are not being asked to evaluate this person's gender identity or preferred terminology. Well, that's too fucking bad now, isn't it? I'm, I, I don't ask people to come on my videos and say, Hey, Digby, you're, you got titties. It's like, guess what? People are going to criticize you. You know, I just be like, I did not ask you to criticize my identity. Guess what, dipshit? Your identity isn't exempt from criticism. If you're going to ask people, hey, I want you to use this stupid fucking word to describe me to everyone you know, he has the right to say, I don't want to fucking do that because it's stupid and you're a dumbass and you should probably go kill yourself. Anyone can do that. And there's still more. Also, I have not yet witnessed a version of this conversation in which the person arguing is actually correct. What the fuck are you talking about? What does that mean? Which person arguing? Th it's a conversation. There should be two people arguing. Are they both wrong? What are you talking about? Z isn't a real pronoun? That's wrong? No, it's not. It's correct. It isn't a real pronoun. Maybe she's talking about the grammar argument. I, I, I'll, I'll give him a pass on that one, because, yeah, they can be used as a singular pronoun. Ooh, I'll try, but I'm warning you, I'm going to mess that up so much. What, what's wrong with that? That's not, like, that's not a, a fucking 
He's going to use your stupid pronouns. What? What are you? you what's wrong with you? You can't even win when you win. Let's let's see why. I guess. We know you will. Everyone does at first, but it's boring to be reminded right up front about how difficult and inconvenient our genders are to you. Oh, boo, who, you got what you wanted, but he didn't have a good attitude about it? Oh, that's such a pity, you poor little thing. Oh, man, hey, I'm glad you bought me this new car, but I didn't really like your attitude while you did it, so, you know, go fuck yourself. This next person says, I don't believe in this whole gender theory, transgender stuff. Hey, I kind of like this person. This person's cool. This person speaks the fucking truth here. Gender theory is bullshit. I, I don't think I don't think transgenderism as a whole is bullshit, but like gender theory is total bullshit. Oh, and it says you should do this. Well, that's weird. I wonder why the author says you should do this. Why? So I can decide immediately not to waste my time with an ignorant asshole like you. Oh, okay, you don't want people around that'll challenge your ideas and maybe make you think about stuff you didn't think about before. You want to have a nice little circle jerk where, where everyone's like, Oh, we're so oppressed! We're so oppressed! 76 genders, we're so oppressed! I like how Robot Hugs here calls the person who is skeptical of gender theory an ignorant asshole while refusing to associate with her. So it's like, I'm a, I am a tolerant, open-minded person, but if you have opinions that I don't like, I won't talk to you. And then if you want to be a good little cuckboy, Robot Hugs lists some nice little examples for you. I'm not familiar with those pronouns. Could you go over them so I know I'm using them right? Oh, of course. I'll do my best. When you accidentally misgender someone. She, I mean he, he. Oh my god. It's okay. I am so, so sorry. Don't worry about it. I didn't mean it, you know, I'm the last person who- It's fine! I don't really have an argument against that one. This seems legitimately annoying. I wouldn't want someone to do that. What I do want to point out is that this person here, who has a cane for some reason, is the one who's being misgendered, but why is this person here talking about this person in the third person while in the presence of this person? What the fuck? She, she's talking to this person, but she misgenders him? Or her, or fucking whatever. Your mistake should not turn into a weird self-flagellation, make me feel better moment. It's not really about you. Fair enough, I guess. Gonna skip these next two because they're not very interesting. This person here looks like James from Team Rocket. Practice. Greg is my friend. I've known him for seven years. He works in landscaping and he has three dogs. You want me to practice your fucking pronouns, you goddamn psychopath? Especially while I'm washing all five of my maroon plates? That is my time. That is my m maroon plate washing time, okay? I don't have time for your pronouns in the, in the precious time that I spend washing my maroon plates. When someone asks you for your preferred pronouns... Can't you tell? What are you trying to imply? Alright, I think I can explain this bizarre phenomenon. Okay, what you've just experienced is meeting a normal fucking person who doesn't know what a f goddamn preferred pronoun is. If you say, What are your preferred fucking pronouns? They're gonna be like, This person trying to say they, they say I'm some sort of weird androgynous freak? Most people are going to take that as an insult. Don't act all confused, because in reality, you're the fuck up here. What you should do is say, I use she, her, thanks for asking. Yourself? But I don't use she, her. Robot hugs, I don't use she, her. I don't use those pronouns. What do I do? You didn't explain what I do if I don't use those pronouns. What are we going to do if someone asks me what my pronouns are? I don't know what pronouns to use. I don't know what pronouns. Let's move on to another subject. Men. Women. Trans women. women color. Queer gender, women. Queers. Trans men. But men. <laughs> Uh-oh. I smell misogyny. Uh, excuse me? But men. Cisgendered heterosexual men. Oh, hi there. We're not really talking about men. Maybe you can join in another time. But as a man, I have important feelings about this subject. That's fine, but we're not really talking about that right now. Some other time we can... 
I want us all to discuss these feelings. Yeah, fuck you, cisgendered male. Fuck you for thinking other people care about your feelings. We're, we're here to talk about serious subjects. Like, like gender queers. Quiet, everyone. It's okay. I'm a man and I support your cause. Cool, thanks. Now, if you'll excuse us... I'd like to talk about how most guys are good men. Men like me. Once I saved a girl from being assaulted. Wasn't that good of me? Once again, they can't even win when they win. If you support their cause, they are still like a nuisance to them. Listen, we'd really like to get back to our conversation. I don't know anything about the history or theory or social background about what you're talking about. There are lots of resources out there if you'd look. I would prefer you to stop your conversation and educate me so I can participate fully. Guys, you're great, really. But we're just doing our own thing over here. Can we just have some space? Feminazis, sluts, reverse discrimination. Oh, snap, I forgot to turn on the decoy. Boop. Hello, man. I am glad you are here. Please tell me about how you feel. Let me explain things to you. I feel sad and confused when people don't listen to me. Here are my opinions on what women should do. Bisexual Trans women. Men. Super women. lesbians. That is an interesting and original opinion. Please go on. That's great. Even if you agree with them and support their bullshit, they still have this well of contempt for you and want you to fuck off. Why would you do this? What group of people is openly contemptuous to those who want to join their discussions, are interested in learning about their cause, or hell, or even already supporting them? It's like a black guy supporting the KKK. Let me tell you, a man probably has much more legitimate opinions than someone who calls himself genderqueer. Now this next one is just fucking horrible. This one actually made me pissed off uh, more than the other ones, might I add. Um, it's about being trans and having mental illness. Now, that's it's probably not, doesn't sound too bad, but, but ju just listen to this shit. There's this tricky thing with being trans and also having a mental illness. I don't know. Mental illness is mental illness, no matter who you are, right? Well, yes and no. Anyone can have a mental illness, but when you have an identity that a lot of people think is sick, made up, criminal, or dangerous, those messages tend to amplify and validate the distortions that a mental illness creates. What? Okay, okay, first of all, mental illness is not a, a sound. You don't amplify it. I, I, assume, I assume she means, like, exacerbate it, but th that's, that's stupid. Like, if you have anxiety, you're gonna be worrying about something no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're trans or not. If you're trans, it doesn't, like, stack on top of everything else. It's, it's not like stat reductions in Pokemon. And as a trans person, you can't just assume that you have it worse than someone who isn't trans. How the fuck can you know? You only have your own experiences to go off of. If I wanted to, I could just say, Oh, I had some of the worst anxiety of my life back in 2015, and it was worse than yours because I'm a guy. Well, my brain might be constantly telling me something, and then the world around me seems to agree with it. Then we get a few examples of things that supposedly exacerbate trans mental illness, but, uh, we're gonna... Skip over most of this. It's basically what you'd expect. I do want to point out a few, uh, few nice little nuggets here. There are only two genders. It's just biology. You know, this might just be my opinion, but maybe, you know, your mental disorder might be a bit easier on you if you just came to terms with objective reality. Like me, you know, the other day I was with my, with my friend, and, and he just and he just came out of the came out of the bathroom after taking a mean shit and said, "Hey, Digby, you're never gonna fuck an anime girl." And I and I got down on the ground and I, and I cried for three hours, but he was right, and there's nothing I can do about that. Another black trans woman murdered last week. Police are not treating this as a hate crime. Uh, so fucking what? It's a murder. Who cares if it was a hate crime? The point is a person killed another person. What does tacking on the label of hate crime do? As far as I can tell, calling it a hate crime doesn't bring the victim back to life. In my case, I find that my mental illness amplifies the negative messages I get from the world around me and the way the world treats trans folk. What is it with their obsession with the word folk? Why can't they just say people? Like me validates how my brain is interpreting those messages. So basically, she just repeats the same dick puke we heard before. Yeah, that's a heck of an intersection. What can I do? Try to validate feelings rather than denying experiences. 
You can't always separate the experience of mental illness from the experience of oppression, and trying to do so can result in gaslighting someone into further distrusting themselves or pushing them away. I'm worried about my government murdering me. That seems a little extreme. I'm sure that's not going to happen. Don't worry. That, my friends, is something you shouldn't say to someone with mental illness. From my experience, there's nothing your average person can do to help someone with mental issues. You're not a therapist and you're not a bottle of Lexapro. But I'd much rather hear don't worry over having my anxious delusions validated. That sounds like the worst possible thing to do. You, you, they're, they're, ang it's anxiety. If I'm having anxiety over something, I don't, the last thing I want is to have it validated. And, uh, I really don't understand why this is included in your comic about transgenders, because this list of people up here are black people who were killed. And you realize most of them are men, right? You know, uh, the people you don't like? The trans community's long history of being pathologized and discriminated against by medical and psychiatric institutions makes it difficult to talk openly about how mental illness affects us and can seriously impact our ability to get help. It's important that people supporting us understand that this is a complex and sensitive issue. As a cisgender person, it would be awfully presumptuous for me to presume I knew better than you what it's like to be trans. Even though I also have OCD, I shouldn't presume that my experience of that is the same as your experience of being trans and having OCD. Now you've got it. Go fuck yourself. Go and fuck the ever-living shit out of yourself, you self-righteous pile of human shit. You and your goddamn victim complex. The, the very last comic we just read was you complaining about how men are constantly trying to make everything about themselves. But here you are saying, everyone who isn't trans and has a mental illness has no idea what it's really like. This is absolutely despicable, and it's fucking stupid. And uh, this person should probably go and uh, eat a dick. Next comic. Let's close off with some good old-fashioned laughable stupidity. I live in the darkness. I am the fear that strikes in the hearts of villains. Only I can stand up to the corruption and evil that slinks through the streets of this godforsaken city. But I must protect the ones I love, and for some nebulous reason, this involves me keeping them in absolute ignorance. No one can know, especially Justine. Though this won't stop me from drawing her into an incredibly confusing and unhealthy romance. Oh, what a lonely and noble path I walk. Hey, Justine, Gary is the Justice Fist. Oh, oh, that makes so much sense. Why wouldn't he tell me? He seems to think that you lack the capacity to, having pertinent information on your hands, appropriately evaluate risk and act accordingly to keep yourself safe from the dangers that his identity brings into your life. And he seems to think that you don't have the presence of mind and quick thinking skills to avoid just blurting out his identity to everyone you meet. Or the skill to navigate the subtle social nuances of keeping a secret, as he alone has been doing for the last few years. Okay, before I move on, before I move any farther with this Robot Hugs, I, I, got, I got a bit of a secret to tell you. I got a bit of a little mind blower for you. Um, hold on, let me get in close for this. Let me get in close. Superheroes aren't fucking real. No one in real life is in this situation, and no one in real life is in Justine's situation. I, I can't even really, like, explain why this is stupid, because it's based in fiction. It's based in something that doesn't happen in reality. Y you're criticizing the actions of a person who doesn't exist. A person who couldn't exist. You're trying to convince me that Spider-Man is a piece of shit because he didn't divulge all of his personal information to Mary Jane. And you know, relationships end, and guess what? She's still got that extremely important information. I, I feel like an idiot just for even, like, entertaining this idea long enough to refute it. And or he doesn't want to burden you with the emotional and psychological weight of his dark, gritty, violent life. Oh damn, how heartless of him. The point of this comic is basically just, if you keep secrets from someone you're in a relationship with, you're a piece of shit, you're gaslighting them, you're stonewalling them, you're a bitch, you're a piece of shit, you should kill yourself. I... I f fuck this person. There's so much meat to this comic, I could do a part two on this if I wanted to. I probably will at some point, because this is such a goldmine. 
you could open up any random comic, there's going to be some bullshit to respond to, so I could keep coming back here anytime I want, just like, oh, ooh, what's this? Oh, it's some faggotry. So until next time, see you, everyone, and don't be retarded like this person. Hey guys, just want to let you know if you made it this far in the video, you should probably go and check me out on Twitter at DigbyTheGoat or DeviantArt, also at DigbyTheGoat. And maybe you could support me on Patreon or, uh, you know, subscribe, you know, that would be pretty cool. Thanks for watching.